Hi there, my name's Dave and in this video I'm going to share with you my techniques and tips on how I achieved this sketch of Keanu Reeves. So let's take a look. Right, the very first thing is to get the shape of the whole body and head in there, roughly. And then you're doing the vertical line across the um, bridge of the nose. And then you're doing the horizontal lines where you see where your mouth is, your nose, your eyes and your eyebrows lie. And then uh, the bottom of the ears. And then basically just using proportions, using your pencil as the tool to get the proportions correct. Um, comparing that with your reference image. And using the pencil very lightly as well, using a HB so you can easily erase out. Uh, I'm using the click eraser there, which is a really good tool. I'll give a list of uh, materials in the description below so you can have a look at them later. So everything I'm using, you can see there. All you're doing really is keep measuring uh, the vertical lines, horizontal lines, just using the edge of the pencil and comparing it with the image. Uh, for instance, the side of the nose and where that lines up uh, in relation to your corner of the eye. Or the uh, using your pencil horizontally and seeing how the line of the eye falls to see if it's the same. Little tip as well, just keep your image, your reference image very small so you can see the whole of the image while you're drawing this. Uh, so you don't want it too big and that will help you to see the shapes more. And it's just a matter of just measuring really, keep measuring, comparing, letting go of the mind just to keep out of the way and just let it all just happen. Just relax. And don't be frightened to keep moving things around as well. Just uh, go with your instinct and how it feels. Now you don't see me here but I do look at the mirror a regular as well so you just have a look at a, a flip image of it so you, you, it brings out imperfections that needs to be changed so always have a mirror handy when you're doing portraits. But I'm starting to put some darks in but always work um, sort of a B first and then go in with the uh, 9B. I'm using a 9B there with the black pencils a 9B. soft and you, really a tip as well is to always keep your pencil sharp when you're doing this as well or so it becomes very grainy and working on different areas as well you know don't just stick with one thing and, and try and draw that perfect have a feel for the whole picture just let your uh, instincts take you wherever you want to go. And I tend to put the darks in, the extremes and also the lights as well. So then you've, you can work out more where the mid-tones are. And obviously the paper is part of the mid-tones. Try squinting at the image as well, that's a really good, good way of finding the values or tones. The more you squint, the more you'll see it in the reference image, makes it a lot easier. So that's a little tip for you there. I tend to sense the whole of the face at, one, at once, rather than just focusing on one point. 
So constantly keep changing, doing different areas, whatever feels right, and then, and then it compares. So when you change one area, it improves the other. For the darks, I'm using B, 2B, 4B, 8B and 9B, and for the midtones, HB, H and 2H. With the hair, you're doing it sort of light to start with, then build it up, just layer after layer, just getting darker and darker and um, don't worry too much if the, the hair don't fall exactly what the reference image is it's just a it's an idea it will only stretch it out if you try and draw every hair now for the body I'm just keeping it light and loose just using a cross uh, etching method the reason I'm keeping it loose is that I need the focus, total focus, to be on Keanu Reeves' eyes. So that's where I put the sharpness. So that's what I tend to do is, is put the detail and sharpness and contrast in an area that I want the viewer to see. So, um, and everything else then is very subtle or not so sharp. Now on this stage of the portrait I'm trying to get a balance of the values uh, and also working with what I call the edges so softening some edges sharpening others so the more you want people to see you sharpen up the, and the more you want to blend and, and soften and also getting the tones right as well so I'm putting more darks in certain areas so really squinting your eyes at the reference images finding where those really dark areas are and trying to mimic that on your drawing uh, but keeping things very loose and fresh it's these final touches that makes all the difference so there's a tendency at some point to think, oh, no, that's, that's, that's it, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll finish there. Don't let your mind tell you that. Get the gut feeling. Only go with the gut feeling. That's enough. You can over-render it, so you have to be careful with that. But just use your instincts. You'll know when it's finished. <laughs>